Is this rain ever gonna stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm, somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores. Yeah, I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one there is a Nork! Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto angrier. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this, teeth like this, and they spit fire like this. They sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working! It's working! I've got a dragon! Whoa, rough landing. Hi, which way's the... beach? Hey, stop staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussycat? Well, well, someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons! Kill it! Kill it! Go! You imbecile! You ain't my scepter! I'll deal with you later! Who is that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute. Uh, how do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? Welcome to Glimmer! Unfortunately for us, a mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems. Can you stop them? If you can find my friend Twitchy, he'll reward you for helping us out.
a friend of Alora's, and she's asked me to help you out. Whenever you find me, I'll remember your progress like this. That zap means that if you get into trouble, I'll return you to this place. See you around. must be the dragon everyone is talking about. Well, dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you 100 of your gems to cross. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. Spyro, was it? You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. I hope we meet again when you have even more gems. To get a good look around, hold down the triangle button. Try using triangle to look around this cave. For helping me light the lamp, Spyro. For a while, I was afraid we were going to have to cancel tonight's baseball game. Here, somebody mix this orb in with the baseballs. Helping us fight off the lizards. Please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. This magic portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar. Step through the portal next to me to go to Summer Forest.
you can restart our gem lamps. Flame all the lamps quickly and the big gem lamp will light. The power up will give you enough magic to fly for a short time. for helping me light the lamp spiral. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. Lizards have eaten my entire crop of gems. I've tried hitting them with rocks, but they're too fast for me. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, just ask me. <laughs> nice my shooting! Follow me to the next lizard. Spyro, see if you can spit all the way to that lizard. my crop of gems from the lizards. Here, take this orb. Some girl with wings dropped it here yesterday. to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi, I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gym cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. There are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. <laughs> Hunter, where have you been? I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's going to help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look. There's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. 
Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talisman? If you come across any orbs, they're important too, but I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. homeworld called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you go to. <laughs> Hiya, Spyro. Ripto smashed this bridge, so I guess you'll have to glide across it. Press X to jump, then press X again while you're still in the air to glide. <laughs> Sparks, the dragonfly following you around is your health indicator, Spyro. The brighter he is, the more hit points you have. Hi, Spyro. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press X and hold it down to get more hang time. <laughs> Okay, not bad. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press X to jump, then press X again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. Nice job! Now try to do a hover. Press X to jump, then press X again to glide. Then when you reach the end of your glide, press triangle to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. <laughs> Very good! Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the D-pad or analog stick when you hover. <laughs> Wow, you're a pretty good athlete. If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection. Thank you.
has been rampaging around our home, but we've managed to trap him by shutting all the doors. If you talk to the other brothers, they will open the gates and guide you to him. To get the talisman for this level, you just have to make it safely to the exit. By concentrating, I should be able to open this door for you. It's a key when you know how to chant like this. Enemies like those yaks are too big to be charged. Your flame attack should easily take care of large enemies. you defeat an enemy, it will release a spirit particle. The spirit particles will activate the power-up in that world. If a power-up is inactive, you need to defeat more enemies. Remember Hunter's advice? You will glide farthest if you press the X button at the very top of your jump. Even though I'm a vegetarian, I think you should kill that yeti. He's pretty tough though. In fact, I'm not so sure you're up to it. I thought the yeti was tougher than that. I guess he was all bark. <laughs> anyway, I was just guarding our sacred talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it. Oh, thank goodness you scared that evil spirit away. But now it will hide in the statues. If you were to flame all ten statues, I'm sure you would chase it away for good.
Well done, Spyro! You've scared the evil spirit away! Why don't you take this? I borrowed it from the temple. Yeah, they don't need it. <laughs> Welcome! We have found that hockey is a peaceful and calming sport. Would you like to join in a match against our goalkeeper? You have two minutes to score five goals in the red goal. Try a game of one on one. The first to score five goals wins. You are shooting at the red goal. Off you go. might not see anything.
Hello there, Spyro. Would you like to learn to swim underwater? I suppose I could teach you for uh, a small fee. Great. Okay, when you jump in the water, you can use the D-pad to move around the surface. Use square to dive underwater. When you are underwater, use X to paddle and square to charge. Spyro, the idols we were carving have come to life! They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food! The workers can break the locks if they can get to the doors. Giant idol heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. The first puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, come back and talk to me. Wow, Spyro, you did it! I mean, I knew you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. This idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he's swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. Okay, Spyro, just one more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the College Stones for your final challenge.
Those metal shields are making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If you press and hold the square button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. left or right, press the L2 or R2 button. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. Nice job, Spyro. You're pretty smart for a dragon. All I have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our toolbox. <laughs> job we've got a place for you here for the moment i want you to have this talisman <laughs> Now that the supercharged power-up is active, you can charge through the pedestals and send the dancing hula girls over here to help me.
Look at that. The hula girl's rain dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. <laughs> Well on your way, Spyro. Keep collecting talismans to help us defeat Ripto before he can take over Avalar. Oh, and keep collecting those orbs, too. The professor thinks they will help you get back to the Dragon World. I saw something shiny at the top of this wall. You could probably get it, but you'll have to learn how to climb first. We've always had trouble with the gear grinders, but now they've set up force fields to separate us. If you can find diodes, you can use them to turn off the force fields. I think there's a diode around here somewhere, but my eyesight isn't what it used to be.
gear grinder thieves keep taking our lightning stones. If you can replace them all and activate our generator, I'd be very grateful. Thank you, Spyro. I found this shiny thing mixed up with our lightning stones. Please, take it as a reward. Thank you, Spyro. You've deactivated all of the electric barriers. We've been guarding this talisman from the gear grinders, 
Please, take it as a reward. Spyro, do you see that big building over there? The gear grinders are using it to steal our electricity. Please help us by shutting down the machinery inside. Spyro, you've done well so far. You can have this little trinket for good luck, if you have it. The next glides get tricky. You'll have to use your hover maneuver to make them. Press the triangle button during a glide to hover and get extra height. Remember to press triangle when you are very close to the windmill or you won't make it. Spyro, help! The switch to turn off the gear grinder factory is in that room, but, um, it's awfully noisy in there. Thanks for shutting down the factory. Here, I found this stuck between the gears. You can have it if you want.
Hi, Spyro. It's a good thing you're here. If you can help shepherd those baby turtles over there to safety, I'll be mighty grateful. Water workers have boxed up most of our baby turtles. The boxes are incredibly strong. With a more powerful flame breath, maybe you could break them open and release the turtles. There's a chef at the top of this ladder who wants to make soup out of our baby turtles. If you know how to climb, you could get up there and stop him. Impressive! Most impressive! Please take this sacred, uh, thingamajig as a token of our everlasting gratitude. Thank you, young dragon. The baby turtles will be safe up here. Please take this talisman as a token of our gratitude.
な。Nice work, Spyro. The orbs you're carrying have activated this special portal. You won't find a talisman in the ocean speedway, but if you're fast, you'll get lots of treasure. Have fun! Now you think you're pretty good. Well, let's see if you're as good as the current champion. All right, Spyro, meet the course champion. In order to win the race, you must fly through all the rings. Beware if Hunter flies through a ring first. The ring will start to shrink. Good job, Spyro. That was some excellent flying. Hey, Spyro, you see this wall here? I bet you're dying to know what's on the other side. If only I had a few more gems, I might be able to remember how to lower the wall. Hmm, yes, the sparkling beauty of those gems seems to have jogged my memory.
The funny looking guys with the shock sticks have drained all our water. We can't get it back unless someone activates the switches they're guarding. The shock stick guys are tough. Yesterday they turned Vern, our giant squid, into fried calamari. Hi, Spyro. You must be tougher than you look to get here. All the same, you won't be able to get past the metal sharks up ahead. I suppose I could let you borrow my submarine, though. For a modest fee, of course. A pleasure doing business with you, Spyro. This submarine is 100% shark-proof. I guarantee it. wet again. We all want you to have this talisman of Aquaria Towers to remember us by.
I've been trying to tame my new pet manta ray, but he just won't obey me. Hey, you're just about the right size to ride on his back. Great. Hop on his back and guide him through each of the rings of bubbles as it appears. And remember, he's brand new, so try not to get him dented or scratched up. Well done! I suppose I owe you something for that. Here, take this orb. I found it in one of my flippers. Now that the manta ray's tamed, I'd love to get him into racing shape. Care to take him through a harder course? Okay, good luck! Incredible! You've got real talent. I could use a partner like you. You can have the orb I found in my other flipper, too. The water workers have kidnapped six of my children and hidden them in the tops of these numbered towers. I borrowed some explosives to blast the doors off the towers. If you can make it to the top of the six numbered towers, my children will be safe. You did it! Now we can swim in peace. I heard that you were collecting these orbs. Please take this one.
Well done, Spyro. Now that you have six talismans, this door will open. Okay, Spyro, jump through that hole in the floor to get down to Crush's dungeon. I'll help you by tossing sheep through the hole if I can catch them. Good luck! Before you get to the castle dungeon, Spyro, I thought that you might want to know how Ripto and his monsters arrived in Avalar. You see, last week in the Winter Tundra, the Professor was working on some new super portal technology. There. That's the last orb in place. Now let's see. All we need are some coordinates. Yeah, how about 22475? <laughs> That's my birthday. No, Hunter, don't! What? Get off! Get off me, you useless buffoons! Why can't either of you? Where are we? Hmm, no dragons. Wonderful. Crush, go back and pack my bags. We're moving in. Say hello to your new king. Professor, shut it down. Hurry. Oh my, oh my, I can't see the switch. I think I've broken my glasses. Crush, go through the portal, you idiot. To all your friends to take the orbs and scatter them throughout Avalar, quickly. No! Go! Crush, get the orbs now! No! You despicable little creature! I'll kill you! This is bad news for Avalar. Hunter, why didn't you chase him? Uh, yeah, I uh, would have gone after him. But didn't he say something about not liking dragons? Professor, could we catch a dragon to help us? Yes, yes, I think so. We'll need a world that has an alignment much better suited to intercepting one of these creatures. How about Glimmer? Good idea. We better go right now.
crush! You may have been able to defeat that simpleton, but Gulp will be more than a match for you. Bring it on, Shorty. Gulp, come here now! Destroy him, and make sure it's painful! What? The roof? Gulp, get me out of here! So long, dragon. What a wuss. Ripto has caused enough damage. All his meddling has cost me a fortune. If it wasn't for Spyro, I'd be bankrupt. If Ripto were here, I'd give him a piece of my mind. In fact, I'd give him a lot more than that. I was a champion bantamweight boxer at university, and I still know a few moves. Take that! And that! Boo! Why are you? You! Well done, Spyro! The power from your orbs has activated the whirlwind. Well, I bet a rich dragon like you wouldn't mind cashing in a few gems to learn how to climb. I'd be willing to teach you for, say, I don't know, a small fee? You won't regret it. Okay, when you see a wall surface that looks climbable, like the one to my left here, just jump onto it and you will grab it with your claws. Use the D-pad to move up and down, and press jump again to get off. You can also jump sideways onto another climbable area.
Oh, uh, Spyro, hello. I was just having trouble with this door, and I think some orb power might unstick it. I see you've collected a good number of orbs there. <laughs> I can let you into the little castle over there in exchange for a few gems. What do you say? No one's been through that portal in years. I thought I'd never find a sucker. Uh, I mean, you're a shrewd customer, Spyro. <laughs> I would love to let you enter this speedway free of charge, Spyro. Love to. Unfortunately, the speedway rules require me to charge a small fee. You've chosen wisely. I bet a quick dragon like you will win your money back in no time.
Hello, young one. There's a chef up at the top of this ladder who wants to make soup out of our turtles. Maybe you could climb up there and stop him. Your turtle friends happen to make a very good soup, if I can catch them. You can try to say them if you like, but I'm feeling awfully hungry. So, you saved a few turtles. There are more where those came from. Here, take this orb and go away. Save every turtle on the beach. Here, take this. I was going to use it to buy potatoes, but now I don't need it. Mm.